I want to express my condolences to all of those that are, are dealing with the aftermath in Baltimore right now, the horrendous thing that we all woke up to this morning, the tremendous, really um, unsightful, god-awful sight of this bridge collapsing there. Do we have the video that you can show them? I, I don't want to like belabor this, but whoa. I mean, when you think about our infrastructure in this country, this was effectively a, a, a cargo ship that, that hit the bridge and that caused it to become so unsteady as to fall like this. And we're lucky that this happened in the dead of the night as opposed to during rush hour traffic because that would have been truly, truly, truly awful. I, I think it's high time that we pay attention to our infrastructure. I've said this over and over again, our grid, for example, but you know, bridges that the president has just come out and said he's going to use federal funds to completely rebuild this. Um, he also wants to go to Baltimore. Look, he, he wants to have a presence there and we, we get it for political reasons. I'm not sure why he still didn't go out to Palestine, Ohio, but you know, that was a missed opportunity. Anyway, I, he said, he's going to go out there. He's going to come up with the money to replace this. Just a horrible, horrible situation at last check. Apparently two people had been rescued. There are six missing. Again, these numbers are changing in real time. So I want to qualify all that. My heart does go out to everyone. I, I would say this, look, we have to focus on infrastructure. It's really important in this country, but we've got to do it in the right ways. You've got to do it in ways that are real, not ways that are all warm and fuzzy and preachy female-like, right? As we were talking about earlier in the show, not in ways that as Pete Buttigieg would like you to do, because that's a little too ESG friendly and not enough nuts and bolts. Here is the Department of Transportation Secretary, and this was months ago, talking about the need for infrastructure. If an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or there would have been, uh, in New York was, was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, that that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. Um, I don't think we have anything to lose by confronting that simple reality. And I think we have everything to gain by acknowledging it and then dealing with it, which is why the reconnecting communities, that billion dollars, is something we want to get to work right away. Uh, yeah, cause you know, it's apparently all about that as opposed to just actually constructing good, solid bridges and roads for everyone. You understand what they've done, what they're continuing to do. It's really, really upsetting.